Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk about turning excess soil minerals into salts and removing them from the soil. Now, I realize this is our farm basics and that sounded a little complicated. Well, it sounds like a chemistry <laughs> lesson is what it sounds like. It but is. What, what but we're going to salts? Let's define some things but here we're going to really dumb this down. So I don't care if you slept through all your college classes, we're going to make this as simple as possible for you. And a salt to begin with is simply just a cation, positively charged, and an anion, negatively charged, those two together, a cation and an anion is a salt. Well, we often talk about different nutrients for plants and, and nutrients in the soil. We'll say, oh, calcium or phosphorus or potassium or sodium, whatever it may be. There's a lot of these nutrients that are essential for our bodies, for the soil, for plants and all those things. But when they're in excess, like for example, imagine you had a, a nice steak on your plate and you were gonna put a little bit of salt on it, but the top was loose. And now all of a sudden you dumped the whole salt container on your, your steak. You'd say, well, that's too much salt. I need to get rid of that. That's what we're gonna talk about. In the soil, there can be too much of certain nutrients and it can actually be a problem. Okay, so one in particular is sodium. If you have excess sodium in the soil, it's really bad. The pH goes way out of whack. The ground will become super hard. You won't be able to grow anything. If you have a, what we call a sodic soil, it's horrific, destroys the soil. So to flush that sodium out of the soil, we want to turn it into a salt. Salts are leachable. So a lot of times we'll put sulfate out there. When it combines with the sodium, it forms sodium sulfate. That's a salt, that's leachable. Now we can flush that away. When you think about salt, it does attract water, so it makes sense. If you can put those nutrients into that salt form, it's going to attract to the water and water can move down through the soil if you've got good internal drainage in your well, soil. Yes, I mean, we could talk all day about how do we actually make this happen? You might need tile, you might need more calcium, better organic matter well, levels, reducing my, compaction, all those things. But the point was today, we just wanted to say if there are excess nutrients in soil, excess minerals, we just need to turn those into salts and get them flushed out. Well, sorry for that big chemistry lesson. You maybe weren't expecting that on a farm show, but there is a lot of chemistry involved in making things work in the soil. And there may even be some chemistry involved in trying to control our weed of the week. Can you identify this week's weed?